Hi everybody, let me quickly show you uh, Quikit uh, 4 from uh, Microchip. So inside the box uh, we have uh, the device, some stickers and uh, finally a cable. So cable is uh, silver as you can see instead of uh, red as it was in uh, previous release. However, you will notice uh, that uh, now you have micro USB instead uh, of a mini B connector. And that makes it easier because uh, you probably have uh, micro B cables lying all around and you will not miss uh, a cable if you uh, just cannot find it. Uh, Picket 4 uh, also has a single button like on Picket 3 and that uh, button is beneath uh, this plate. Uh, three LEDs uh, on the old one are uh, essentially replaced by a single strip uh, on uh, Picket 4. On top we can see uh, that there is micro B connector in instead of a mini B and there is also a reset hole. While you can use it to reset uh, a Picket uh, when it misbehaves, I've always found it uh, easier just to unplug it and plug it back uh, if uh, there are some issues. Uh, however, if you do vertical uh, programming, uh, you can also see LEDs through this hole. If you just angle it right, you are going to be able to see side LED, which makes uh, programming and seeing programming status uh, much easier. Compared to Picket 3, uh, Picket 4 is actually about the same uh, length. It is uh, a bit uh, wider and uh, it is uh, a bit thicker. In hand it feels actually much chunkier because it, uh, the sides are not uh, as rounded uh, as on uh, Picky Tree. So if you are doing uh, vertical programming uh, you are going to feel uh, that it's much bigger than it actually is. Part of uh, increase uh, in width is of course uh, for new connector on Picket uh, 3 you had 6 pin connector on new Picket 4 you have 8 pin connector. Uh, the additional 2 pins uh, are actually for uh, programming uh, Atmel microprocessors. For microchip uh, pick uh, actually because the uh, order of uh, pins is exactly the same nothing changes. On the side uh, you will uh, notice uh, there is now micro SD slot and uh, that is intended for programmer on the go functionality. How exactly that will work we are not sure because it hasn't been released yet. However, considering uh, that uh, usual images uh, that you want to program are few hundred K topmost, it is essentially probably a waste of perfectly good micro SD. I wish if they just added it uh, on board as in form of EPROM chip or something like that. Uh, mind you, uh, also, if uh, they are planning to put multiple images, uh, we have a problem uh, as there is only a single button. So it's beneath this plate, trust me, so it's not visible. However, any menu selection with a single button is pretty much impossible. Uh, and uh, connecting it to computer to use programmer on the go goes against the whole idea of programmer on the go functionality. So I'm not sure how that will uh, work. Well, that's it. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, there is a link to my blog post uh, in the description below. Take care.